<laughs> oh, silly dolly. Oh, hey. Hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Matt Cottrell, special ed test candidate here at Point Pleasant Junior Senior High School. I'm going to lead you through the adventure that I went through here for the 2015-2016 school year. It's much like Dolly Parton. No, it is nothing like that, Dolly Parton. No, it's, absolutely not. It's nothing like it? No, it oh. is not. Close? Not even close. Similar to what Dolly Parton went through. First, we used Office 365. Then, we used email for bell ringers. With email, we was able to take five to ten math word problems, email them to the student, they would answer them, email them back, then we was able to give the student instant feedback. One of the best things I did this year was utilize Schoology. Schoology allowed me to post test assignments and videos on the website. In film studies, I was able to make easy assignments for the high school kids that they were able to use their phone to do. And in March, when my wife had a baby, it made my classes run a lot smoother because everything Step was already four, on the website. Write the number of protons and the number of electrons if your option was followed. One of the other things I did was I used boys and girls middle school basketball and I utilized those nights to pass out information from Common Sense Media for parents to look at and use to monitor their child's technology. Now here's a small sample of teachers and administrators here at Point Pleasant Junior Senior High School. And they're talking about how they use technology and blended learning in their classroom. Did someone say blended learning? Mr. Cottrell and I used technology in our classroom to make Flip the Classroom videos and we used them specifically to uh, make element videos and after we showed the element videos to our students, test scores drastically improved. Um, I've seen a lot of technology being used in the classrooms. We have teachers who are using, uh, utilizing um, Schoology. We have students who are doing PowerPoints and Sway. All of our students have um, an email account and many of our teachers are requiring students to email their assignments to them um, and then they communicate with them via email. Um, so all of our students have laptops and they're utilizing the, these in a number of ways. Um, technology here at Point Pleasant Junior High School on the junior high side has been outstanding this year. Uh, through several walkthroughs, we've noticed that the students are very much more engaged. They enjoy it when we use our different pieces of technology. And I think they find learning to be more fun when we incorporate technology. My classroom, eighth grade, we did an online curriculum in which all the assignments and videos were online in like a flipped classroom model and they had headphones, they had assignments, everything was on them pretty much. Uh, we did not have high enough speed internet to stream videos so I had to put the videos on their computers via a jump drive and then they did everything on their own. It was completely on them and we were there for support. So it went really really well in the... My students used Office 365 religiously. They would send me papers, they would send me emails. Um, students actually use their own calendars for upcoming due dates with okay, My different newest technology that I'm working with is the TI Inspire calculator. Uh, it goes with many of the lessons that I'm doing with the Teach 21 units. So I'm trying to get Mr. Higginbotham and I used Office 365 to write, send, and edit essays. My classes this year used Office 365. I would email assignments to them and they would email them back. They learned how to save and how to create documents on OneDrive. Also, we created commercials and with the help of uh, Mr. Cocker, we edited commercials and filmed them and showed them in the classroom to show kids how to use editing skills and how to piece stuff together after filming. Some of these kids were struggling readers and really needed the assistance of an audiobook to read to them while they followed along with their own book. 
Um, so to help with my differentiation, I went to Matt and he hooked me up with putting my um, audiobooks onto these little kind of ancient <laughs> MP3 players. He made them work for me. Right. Um, we use iPads to do a program called GarageBand where we can write music um, in that program and it helps kids who we can't usually reach but the access to the iPads and very few iPads um, doesn't let us accomplish that as much as we would like. Uh, in, in health class we incorporate a lot of technology. We, um, we try to use uh, a lot of projects and stuff where students get to do oral presentations and they get to use technology. They, they use their laptops to develop PowerPoints or Prezi presentations. Or yeah, Through my walkthroughs I see technology used all the time. One of the most significant ways we see it is through the Office 365, the sharing of documents, uh, sharing of PowerPoint presentations that students can collaborate from wherever they're at. And using, and using the Office 365. So to sum this all up in two words, it would be have fun. I think in everything you do, you have to have fun. With all this technology, I've had a lot of fun in my classroom this year at helping each and every teacher at Point Pleasant Junior Senior High School. What's going on? We, we dance! dance! Absolutely not!